Hey everybody, we came up here to Indiana at the Potawatomi Zoo to help Chris Yaks and Aquascapes of Michiana. We built this big wall going all the way down this because this is actually where we're standing is the enclosure for the giraffes and the zebras. And apparently zebras, if we don't have a wall that's at least five feet straight up, they'll jump over it. So go back up here and show you. So here's our wetland filter. They got this built before I got here. And this is the, the filtration system for the whole pond. So this is what's going to keep the water crystal clear. There's three feet of gravel in there. And then we got aqua blocks and snorkels and centipedes. And these are the pump vaults that feed to the top of, top of the stream over here. And then this is a stream that goes all the way up back over into there. And it's going to start up there and it comes down here. And I think he said they've got 15,000 gallons per hour coming off of this stream. And then they'll have another 20,000, almost 18,000 gallons per hour coming up here. And it's going to, this stream will continue on this way and come back around. And we're going to have a big drop down into the pond here. So pretty cool. We've got three foot deep pond there. That's Damien Drager with 4D exterior scapes. And Steve down there got uh, Carl Petit. Columbia Water Gardens and Excavator. And I got uh, Matt, he's out of Texas somewhere, I can't remember. Um, anyways, pretty pretty cool shape on this pond. And uh, there's the intake bays over there. And then we're gonna have overflow that goes underneath Carl back there. But uh, this is for their giraffe enclosure. I'll show you the stream. Again, this is the, the filtration system for the whole pond, so this is what's going to keep the water crystal clear. There's three feet of gravel in there, and then we got aqua blocks and snorkels and centipedes, and these are the pump vaults that feed to the top of, top of the stream over here. But it comes all around through here, and it rips down this and then splits around there and comes down. And, uh, we should have got a video of it running, but we don't have power out here yet, so we've been having to use a generator. But uh, I know it's unfinished, but it's, it's massive. It's hard to catch the scale of it on camera. But anyways, it's my last day up here. I gotta go back and get back to our stuff next week. So figured I'd show you what we've got done this week.